Washing Dennis's socks forever, Mum. Oh, but they do such a lovely job. Just like new. Unlike Dennis's feet. Thursday is bath night, and tonight Dennis is going in that bath. Dennis, it's bath time. Dennis. Oh, I'm afraid he's hiding again, Dad. Even breathe. Every bath night the same. Well, this time we will find him. How? Wherever Dennis goes, Nasha goes too. Wow! <laughs> oh, don't crack, Nasha! Please, don't crack. Lovely steaming leftovers. Oh. And that, friends, is how I avoided yet another bath night. Well done, Dennis. Hand him the bath night and club chalk, pie face. There you go, Dean. That makes uh, 250 bath free nights. Yes, oh, free well free. done, Dennis. Thank you, thank you, Bath Night Clubbers. And that's only this month. <coughs> no thanks to Nasha. <laughs> I know, Nasha. I forgive you. It was a cruel trick Dad played on you. Next time we hide, I'll put a peg on your nose. <laughs> oh, I've got some bad news, Dennis. Ask Curly the Bath Night Club speakers at Dennis. 
Last week, my little brother Spikey was caught on bath night. Oh, oh no! Next day, he had changed forever. La, 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 la. He smelled of soap and he was talking to girls. <laughs> You didn't catch him then, Dad? No. And as if that isn't enough, I've just been fined a week's wages and banned from driving a sofa for six months. Oh, dear. But next week, next bath night, I'll get him. How bad is he, Sergeant Doctor? Oh, difficult to say, Colonel. It depends how big a sniff of Dennis's socks he took. It's been a whole week since it happened. Let's hope there are no more accidents this time. Don't send me back, sir. Anything but that. Those socks. The smell. The smell. Quickly, nurse. Another 10 cc's of air freshener. <laughs> There we have it, gentlemen. Our brave young soldier is proof positive. Dennis's socks are the most frightening weapon ever created. <laughs> Soon the world will be a far, far safer place, thanks to this new deterrent. At all costs, this boy must never have a bath. We need his socks to help world peace. Hello? Hello. This is the rest of the world speaking. Ah. We have just heard about Dennis's socks. We all promise to be good if you keep the socks locked up. It's a deal. Do you promise to be good too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess why not. Yeah. There we have it, gentlemen. World peace has been achieved. Hooray! Well, now the boy can have a good bath. That's what I say. Don't forget, tonight's bath night again. Thursday seems to come round all too often. Yeah. How many Thursdays are there in a week? One's enough. See you all later at the bath night club. <laughs> Hiding in the bathroom this time, eh? Mm -hmm. Looks like you've caught me fair and square this week, Dad. <laughs> I'm not taking my eyes off you until this bath is run, Dennis. Yep, you keep your eyes on me, Dad. Who knows what I might do, given the chance. Why do I get the feeling that this has been too easy? in this town until your lad has a good hot bath. Yeah. And that's just what my son is going to have right now. Uh-uh. I'm done for. Hey, Sam, 
What's going on? We have an odd sock situation, Colonel. An odd what? One of our socks is missing. What about the safeguards? The security? The code? It was only a matter of time, sir. Socks are loners by nature. If that sock gets onto the wrong foot, I mean into the wrong hands, then... Then world peace, sir, is in pieces. Fetch me a glass of water and a couple of medals. Yes, sir. Oh, what have we done? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, uh -huh. but I think you might better say, what have I done? Seeing as this whole sock thing was your idea, <clears throat> sir. What's all this, then? You again? All right. Off that sofa. Come on. You can't. This is ridiculous. It's a stool for you. Until you learn how to handle furniture properly. Has anyone seen a sock? I uh, mean, Dennis. Uh, Dennis, I said. Seen Dennis? What's going on, Dennis? Enough talk. Time for action. I say we find Dennis and bath him tonight. Yay! What do you say to running as fast as we can and as far away as possible? Look! It's Pie Face! Get after you, Dennis! So, what else is new? Come on! Torches! Get your fresh hot torches! Get your torches while they're on! Torches! Get your fresh hot torches! Get your torches! How I hate bath night! Dennis, this is the first place they'll look. Exactly. So, what better place to spring a trap? Well, what we do without you, Dennis? Probably get a bath and talk to girls. Hey! I can see lights coming over the hill. Ah! I volunteer to stay behind and hold them off as long as possible. You're a brave man, Pieface. But well, you're coming with us. Wash! Dennis! Wash! Dennis! Wash! Dennis! Wash! Dennis! Wash! Can you stop them, Sergeant Slipper? My poor boy is being hounded. Not having a bath may be smelly, but it is not yet a crime. I shall see what can be done. Yes! Yes! I think this time Dennis is done for. Any news on the missing sock? Hey, um. We have consulted a psychiatrist. He believes that the sock is probably confused, frightened, and lonely. It may be heading home. It may be heading for... Dennis. I must find him first. World peace depends on it. Attention, Bath Night Clovers. This is Mrs. Pieface. Give me one more reason why you shouldn't have a... And give us back our son. What will we do? What will we do? What will we do? Relax, Pieface. We're in a tough spot, Dennis. I've popped tougher spots than this, Curly. Open the emergency exit, Nasha. Inside. You too, Nasha. 
like this one. Where does it lead to? The one place that no one would think of looking for us. Who might think, Sam? No! Home! Stand back! Stand back! This area is off limits! This is the first moment's peace I've had all day. Uh, Dad, uh, shouldn't you be sitting on the stool? Sergeant Slipper says... This is our living room, and I'll sit where I like. I'll even sit on the sofa if I want to. Oh, Dad, I'd better close the curtains. And the cupboard under the stairs should be right here. Nash, nash, nash. What? What? What on earth? I knew you shouldn't have sat on it, Dad. <laughs> oh, I think I miscalculated. I think the sock went through here, Colonel. Right. Here we are. Fill the path to the top, Mum. I've got a sofa to walk. Dad! They went this way. This is what a full bath looks like, Dennis. <clears throat> looks like this is the end of the road, guys. It's been nice knowing you, Dennis.
on my shoulder, uh, that might help. Uh, that's enough falling around for one day, especially today. For today is Careers Day. Oh. And our first speaker is Sergeant Slipper. Good morning, all. Police work is all about coping with the uh, unexpected. Oh, I knew this was a mistake. And that was how I saved a little cat from the tree. Uh, and now I'll show you how to use handcuffs. I will need a volunteer. Oh, me! Me! Yeah, Dennis. Uh, very well, lad. Now then, I know this is difficult, but imagine I am the baddie and uh, you are a policeman. Now, handcuff me to the radiator. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm sure Dennis didn't mean to throw the key out of the window, Sergeant. <laughs> now then, after that unfortunate <clears throat> accident, we have another speaker who's going to tell you about his life in the army. Please welcome the Colonel. Oh, no! Donegard, at ease. Now, the first campaign I fought in was the Norman Invasion. So-called because they came from Normandy. No, so-called because they were all called Norman. Hundreds of them. Oh. There we were, surrounded by Normans. The Normans raised their heads above the trenches uh, and lit fire. Captain Trout, uh, who is going to talk about uh, <clears throat> life at sea. Boring! And there I was, with Captain Briefab, facing Dopey Mick, the daftest whale of the seven seas. What happened next? <sighs> Dopey Mick opened his mouth and gave us a blast of his legendary bad breath. <sighs> <sighs> was overcome by the smell uh. and toppled into the sea. Uh. Then what? Then what? Dopey Mick gobbled him up and he was never seen again. Wow! Aye, and here's the rub, mateys. Captain Prefab was my father. Wow! Thank you, uh, Captain Trout. <laughs> Again in the dawn tide. Who's coming with me? Me, 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 me! me. Oh, oh sorry, please, no, me. please! I'm entering the race of the year. A race round the Cape of No Hope. Me, 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 me. Please. Jolly Roger, eye patch, telescope, and that's it. <laughs> Oh, and not forgetting the ship's dog. <laughs> oh, Dennis, don't forget your hairbrush. I won't, Mum. I'll be sure to send you a postcard. <laughs> Ship <laughs> 
a rust bucket. I'll show you where you'll be working. Uh, just one thing, Captain. Where are all the crew? Why, lads, didn't I tell you? You're the crew! <gasps> and this is your first job! One, we're stuck on an old tub that could fall apart any minute. Two, the captain's completely bananas! At least we got lots of spuds to peel. Hi, face! Wait! 
congratulations for winning the wave. <laughs> Ahead. 
more time for slacking. This is worse than being at home. <laughs> Beano Town Swimming Baths! <laughs> <laughs> 